Ladies and gentlemen, what if I told you there are AI tools out there that only legends use to grow their YouTube channels 10x faster? Yep, you heard that right. In this video, I'm revealing five secret AI tools that I use every single day to manage multiple faceless YouTube channels, all while saving tons of time and effort. I'll show you exactly how to get voiceovers like mine, how to edit audio with AI to make it sound perfect, the AI tool I use to create stunning thumbnails, and even the one that helped me write this script you're watching right now. So if you're planning to start a YouTube channel in 2025, or even if you already have one, this video could change everything for you. Let's dive in. The first AI tool I want to share with you today is Midjourney, one of my absolute favorites. This is the tool I use to generate the viral thumbnails you see on my channels. I simply add some text to the image and bam, the video goes viral. If you know how to use it correctly, you can get amazing results like this. In fact, some of the biggest names in the game are using Midjourney. Mr. Beast uses it to take his thumbnails to the next level. And both Magnates Media and Iman Gaji use it to create unique editing styles. Midjourney is revolutionizing video editing and graphic design. If you master it, I can guarantee you'll be ahead of your competitors. I'll leave the link in the description. But just so you know, this video is not sponsored by Midjourney. I'm sharing this because I genuinely love it and use it every day. Let me show you how it works. Once you get the subscription, you'll have access to their Discord server. To generate images, type slash, and you'll see these options. Click on Imagine. Now, in the prompt box, you can type anything you want. For example, let's type a logo for my YouTube channel named Rahat K and hit Enter. As you can see, it generated a logo that's actually better than my original one. Take a look at this. It looks amazing. And that's the power of Midjourney. You can create anything your imagination can come up with. Now, if you're on a budget and can't afford the subscription, no worries. You can still generate images for free using these three AI tools. Although there are some limitations, they offer free trials. So you can still get a lot done without paying. I also want to show you how I generated this thumbnail using only Midjourney. You can check out the full video on my productivity and self-help channel. Here's the prompt I used for that. Feel free to pause the video Video and take note of some keywords that can help you refine your own prompts. If I use the same prompt again, I'll get a similar result, though it might take a bit of trial and error to get everything perfect. One thing to note, Midjourney is still not great with typography, but everything else looks fantastic. And here's some good news. Sometimes, you can get even better results using ChatGPT. Check out these two thumbnails. I use the same prompt for both. But the one generated with ChatGPT, using OpenAI's DALI model, has much better typography. DALI is a highly advanced text-to-image tool that can help with things like that. The second AI tool I want to share with you today is DubDub. This is an all-in-one AI tool for content creation. Here you can handle everything you need to create a video, from script writing to voice recording to video editing. You can literally do it all with DubDub. Let me show you how it works. I'll leave a link to DubDub in the video description. Once you sign in, you'll land on this page. To create a voiceover, click on AI voiceover and it'll take you to the voiceover creation screen. Here you can write your script. For instance, I'm going to ask the AI to generate a YouTube video script about how to use ChatGPT. As you can see, it's generated a well-organized script for the video. Let's go ahead and delete this section. Now if you want to preview the voice, simply click here. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Today, we're diving into something super exciting, how to use ChatGPT. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone curious about AI, as you can hear, the voice is pretty impressive. This is a custom cloned voice, and I'll show you how you can create one for yourself. But I think you might not even need a custom voiceover anymore. DubDub has made significant improvements to its voice library. Just click on more voiceovers, and you'll find a large selection of realistic AI voices. They've done a fantastic job creating a diverse range of voices that can be filtered based on specific scenarios. For example, if you're creating a historical video, just click on the history category and you'll find the best voices for that genre. Or, if you're making a movie explained video, you can select voices specifically suited for that type of content. This saves you a ton of time when choosing the right voice. Let's test a couple of voices. Once upon a time in a small village, there lived a young girl. She was known for her kindness and love for animals. This one sounds great. Let's try another. Living in a world that has endured a century of warfare, Lee's family situation is tragically commonplace. His parents struggle to not only provide for themselves, but support the ongoing war effort. This one is also solid, but the best part of this tool is the voice matching feature. You can upload a sample video or provide a video link and DubDub will find a similar voiceover for you. It's a huge time saver and a really helpful feature. Now, if you want to create a custom voiceover, like the one I use, just go back to the homepage and select Instant Voice Cloning. Upload your sample voiceover by clicking here, and DubDub's AI will clone your voice and generate a custom voiceover based on that sample. 
The next AI tool I'm going to share with you today is Leonardo AI. No, I'm not talking about their AI image generation tool because I don't use Leonardo AI for that. While you can get great results with Leonardo for image generation, I prefer Midjourney for that, as it's better than any other image generation tool out there. I use Leonardo AI primarily for its image upscaler feature. And guys, this is an amazing tool for designers and video editors. I use it every day. Here's why. Whenever we download an image from Google or generate one with AI, we often end up with glitches or low resolution. But with Leonardo, you can fix that issue you quickly and easily. Here's an example. This is the before and this is the after. I've tried many free and paid image upscaling tools, but Leonardo is by far the best and fastest. Of course, you need to know how to use it properly to get the best results. I personally don't use their paid plan. I use it completely for free because I have multiple accounts in different Chrome profiles. Leonardo gives each account 130 credits per day, so I never have to spend any money on the premium plan. However, if you're a video editor or graphic designer, I'd recommend getting the premium plan. You'll get better results. Here's a little trick for free users. When you upload your image, it will ask you to upgrade. Here's what you can do instead. Open Photoshop. Create a new project with dimensions 1280 by 720 pixels. Then import your image. Adjust the size and export it. Now, when you upload the image to Leonardo, it won't ask you to upgrade. It will only use 30 credits to upscale the image. Let's quickly go over the settings you'll need to adjust. Here, you can select the upscaler style. I usually leave it as the default, but you can try the cinematic option to see the difference. Next, we have the creativity strength setting, which is really important. This is something you'll need to experiment with to get the best results. If you want the AI to simply upscale the image without changing any details, keep the creativity strength under 5, around 3 or 2 is a good range. If you want the AI to upscale the image and adjust some details like the character's face color, etc., you can set it above 5, around 7 or 8. This is just a basic explanation, but once you start using it, you'll get the hang of it quickly. Don't forget to like the video for this amazing tip. I'm sure many of you didn't know about this tool. The next AI tool I use every day for my content is Adobe Podcast. This is a free audio editing tool from Adobe, and it's a game changer. With this tool, you can convert your normal audio into professional studio quality sound in just a few clicks. All you need to do is upload your audio to the site, and Adobe's AI will automatically remove background noise and echo. I'll leave the link in the video description. First, you'll need to create a free account using your Google account. Once you've signed up, you'll land on this page. Select Enhanced Speech. As you can see, you can edit up to one hour of audio per day for free. If you need more than that, they offer a premium plan, but I think most of you won't need it. To edit your audio, simply upload your file by clicking here. After a few seconds, Adobe Podcast will give you the final result. And here's the result. In this video, I'm revealing five secret AI tools that I use every single day to manage multiple faceless YouTube channels. Make sure to try this tool with your regular audio to see the difference. It's especially useful for beginners who aren't familiar with how to edit audio and remove unwanted noises. Trust me, this tool will save you a lot of time and effort. Now, I want to introduce you to another amazing AI tool from Adobe called Adobe Firefly. This is an advanced generative AI tool. And the best part is, you don't need to download any software or have a subscription. You can access it for free right here online. And I'll leave the link in the video description. Adobe Firefly has a ton of useful AI tools you can try out. But for now, I want to focus on the generative fill feature. If you're using Photoshop 2024 or 2025, you probably already know about this feature. It's a huge time saver for design and editing work. But I know many of you may not have a Photoshop subscription. Well, with Adobe Firefly, you can use this generative fill tool for free on their website. This tool lets you do anything with your images. You can add objects, remove items, or even change parts of an image. It's incredibly fast and accurate. You've got to try it out. The link is in the video description. The next AI tool I'm going to share with you today is Perplexity AI. Many of you might not be familiar with it, but this is the tool that big creators and news channels use to research their videos. In many cases, Perplexity AI is more advanced and useful than ChatGPT, because whatever you ask, you'll get answers from authentic sources. Unlike ChatGPT, which doesn't always provide references, Perplexity gives you links to the sources of the information it provides. This means you can confidently talk about any topic in your video. Knowing that Perplexity has done the research for you and has provided the source links. Perplexity is a paid tool, but like ChatGPT, you can still do a lot with the free version. This video is not sponsored by them, but trust me, this is a very useful tool that helps you find information from authentic sources. If you're a student, teacher, writer, or researcher, this is a tool you must have. We run a US-based faceless news channel, and we use this tool every day for our research. We also use ChatGPT to optimize our scripts. First, we manually write our script, and then we use ChatGPT to make the script more engaging and improve the storytelling. For example, let's say I want to make the intro of this video more engaging. I'll copy my original script, go to ChatGPT, and ask it, can you make the intro more engaging? Then I'll paste my script and hit enter. 
And as you can see, the new intro is much better than my original one. But here's the key. You have to write your script manually first. If you rely entirely on AI to write your script, I don't think you'll get the best results. So always write it yourself first, then use ChatGPT to refine and enhance it. If you have any questions about AI and YouTube automation, make sure to leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer all your questions, especially within the first day of the video being published. So feel free to ask me anything. If you want to know how you can actually make money with AI, I highly recommend this video because I have explained the five most profitable AI businesses that anyone can start in 2025. Thank you for watching.